uh, Emery of DIY, DIY Cyborg. Uh, I am back with my armor on relay board. Uh, as promised, this is the second video, which uh, covers actually connecting the board up to a, uh, a source and switching some kind of AC uh, uh, source uh, power. So, um, first of all, I should just state I'm in Japan, so the, I don't have ground pins on my cords. And also, uh, I found that a lot of times in Japan, the outlets or the plugs themselves don't have uh, really any kind of um, direction. Um, usually in the U.S., you'll find one pin is much wider than the other. Even though the uh, the same extension cord's uh, female end has the wider plug, the or wider pin, the plug itself doesn't for some reason. It's, weird. So anyway, <laughs> um, if you're in the United States, the wide pin, uh, and off, also in Japan if you find good cables, the wide pin is your neutral, and the narrow pin is the load for AC. And uh, if you look here, again, we see it, it's hard to see probably on the video, but there is an in etched into this uh, blue part of this plug, uh, or this uh, extension cord. And uh, we do have the wide, narrow, or the wide uh, pin here and the narrow pin here. So the neutral side uh, is the side that we want to leave alone. Uh, we don't need to worry about that. What we want to actually disconnect and reconnect in our circuit is the load side. This is the side that actually provides the, the, the oomph from AC. The neutral side just kind of takes it back in. So um, what I did here was I identified which uh, pin here was actually supposed to be the uh, load side. And then I, because it's a flat cable, it's quite easy to find. I went back and I stripped uh, a section about two inches wide of the cable. And uh, in again, in Japan, we don't have color-coded cables on the inside a lot of times. So um, thankfully, it was flat. So I was able to trace it all along and determine that this side was the side that was the load side. So this is the side that I cut in half. And um, I also marked one end of the wire uh, black, and this is the side of the wire that is associated with the plug itself. So this is the side that I want to connect to my center pin of my relay board. And this is the side that I want to switch on and off, which goes out to my outlets. So uh, I also put some zip ties on here to provide some stress relief because I don't want to yank this apart. What I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this up, and I'm going to switch the lamp on and off that we're using here. So I have my wire. This is my plug side, so this needs to go to the center pin of my relay. So here we have our... I'm actually going to flip it over, because I want to connect this to normally close. You can connect to normally open or normally close. Um, the reason why I'm using normally close in this case is because when I disconnect my relay, the circuit will still be active. So the relay is only going to open my circuit. That's just uh, my decision that I wanted to do on this particular demonstration. You can use whatever is most appropriate for your circuit. Uh, that doesn't work at all. When you connect these, the uh, Screw terminals are quite close together, so you want to make sure that you don't have any stray, uh, stray copper wire uh, passing towards the other pin and inadvertently shorting it out. You also want to make sure you don't get too close to this, uh, to this standoff here. So, let's see if we can get that in there. Okay, that is in there much better. And Yep, okay, it looks clean. I don't have any stray copper sticking out, so let's see if we can get the other one in here. Yep. Tighten it up. Okay, no, no stray copper sticking out, okay. Now, uh, I'm going to disconnect my switch side there, and I'm going to plug in power, and I'm going to actually disconnect my lamp, so it's going to go dark for a second. So my lamp is now connected Ooh. to the relay board, 
And so you notice the lamp came back on. Um, that's because the relay is in the normally closed position. Now when I connect my Arduino board to pin 13, the lamp goes on and off. So when the relay opens, the lamp goes off. So you could switch this the other direction so that when the relay is activated, the lamp is on as well. So this is very easy to control pumps, lights, uh, various dev devices that you'll need for hydroponics. Or if you wanted to switch Christmas lights, you could do that as well. Great. Thank you.